everyone, I'm Caitlin Ambrose. I'm an interpretive naturalist for the Lake Metro Parks and we are at Penitentiary Glen right now for the salamander migration. As you can see behind me, a bunch of people are gathering around what we call a vernal pool. That's the pond that's behind me. And they're gathering around, they're looking for different salamanders, they're touching the salamanders, they really interact with them a little bit, and they're having a fun time learning about them. If you guys look right here in my hands, I have a Jefferson salamander. So the Jefferson salamander is called a mole salamander, meaning that it goes from the ground underneath the dirt, and in the springtime it'll come to a vernal pool or a type of wetland, and it will lay its eggs. Now earlier we saw a couple different salamanders that were in the vernal pool, but now we're in the woods looking for salamanders. And we did find one right here that I'm about to show you guys called a red-backed salamander. He's a lot smaller than the other ones we saw. The other ones we saw were about five to six times bigger than this guy. But you can kind of see the red top to it, the red top here, and then the sides are a little bit darker, giving it the red-backed look. What's pretty cool about salamanders is that if they feel threatened, they can actually pop their tail off. They can yes. pop the end of their tail off, their tail squirms, and the predator goes towards the tail, <laughs> and then he can get away. And he'll grow it back, grows right back. 